Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Where is the value in stocks today? Who can tell us? Tracy Reiner can tell us. She's our value stock analyst at Zacks.com. Anyway, she always comes in here every week with some good suggestions on value stocks that you should uh, call your attention to, at least for consideration anyway. And today's no exception. You're going to start off the uh, conversation with Wonder Auto Technologies. Yes. W-A-T-G, the ticker symbol. Yes. Okay. It's a Chinese auto parts company. Why doesn't that surprise me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of value in some of these Chinese companies and also a lot of growth. So this is another one of those that's kind of unique in that it's both a growth stock and a value stock. Those are somewhat rare. So I like writing about these kinds of companies um, because Wonder Auto has been on a tear. It's, uh, you know, it's revenues up. It had record revenue in this last quarter. And some of that is because um, the Chinese stimulus that's going through the system. So it's rare that you find stocks with both of those qualities or rare that you find Chinese stocks with both of those qualities? Any stocks with both of those qualities. Okay. Um, but also the Chinese stocks, because they're really hot right now. So you would think they wouldn't be much of a value play. But Wonder Auto is trading a, a little over 12 times earnings. So that's still within the value categories. Its price to book is low. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Zach's number one rank still. And, you know, so it has those good qualities, but, you know, it's been soaring lately. So that's also something you have to watch out for when you're considering buying a, a stock like this. Yep. The valuations, everything is good with the, with that. The fundamentals are good, um, but the stock price has doubled. Well, it's gone from like $2 in March up to over $10, um, kind of oscillating here recently. But some of that has to do with this Chinese stimulus that I was saying that's pumping through the system. They're putting a lot of money into their auto industry. Most of their customers are in China. It's their biggest part of their market. They do a little bit overseas as well in other Asian markets. But, you know, Chinese, the organic growth this last quarter was 15% on the Chinese sales side. So as more Chinese drive cars, um, their parts are going to be in demand. They do a lot of starters and electrical parts and other engine accessories for the cars. So okay. Wonder Auto is kind of an interesting play right now. All right. And then you... Uh also talked about Dollar Tree again yes. recently, D-L-T-R, the ticker symbol. Yes. Uh, this is in that... Uh that uh, discount retail space that you it talk is. about periodically. It is. And this is another one that also has the growth component. Um, one of the few retailers that truly is growing quite quickly right now. Um, they, uh, analysts are expecting about 16% year over year growth on their earnings. And they're, they're able to meet these expectations. This last quarter, they saw a 9.2% comparable sta same store sales growth, which is just huge right now for any retailers. But you know, their business model is everything is a dollar or under. Right. So everybody's flocking there for the value for the bargains and you know they're 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 really seeing it they're opening up new stores they've closed a few in this last quarter but not as nearly as many as has opened so you know uh, any of these kind of discount retailers are doing well they also redesigned their website so it's now an e-commerce site whereas oh. before it wasn't so now you don't even need to go to the stores to get your deals you can order online as well so I find it interesting that uh, as we're in a time now where most of these discount retailers don't want to be called dollar stores right. any longer. This one uh, is the exception. They yeah. actually put that out front. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, they have a lot of good marketing plan out there. And as, as stock for its valuations aren't bad, they're trading a little bit over 14 times. Um, so it's a little pricey for the value side, but not not extreme price given what they're doing. Yep. They raise guidance um, for the year really? because they just beat in the first quarter quite substantially. So, and the guidance was between 275 and 290, up about 30 cents or so on the estimates. And the, the analysts think it's going to be even more bullish than that. The analysts see um, estimates for the year about 296, which is about six cents higher than what the company's guiding. I think they feel like we saw a big beat in this first quarter and we could see that continue on here. So we're going to we're going to be even more optimistic than the company is. And, and that's becoming uh, kind of rare in this market, too, to yes. find anybody who's willing to give you any kind of guidance. Right. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, definitely. So, you know, the company, the company's seeing some good things down, down the pike here because of their business model. Okay. Um, the chart has been kind of all over the place. They, they did sell off in February, actually, before the bigger sell-off 
in March, um, or at least the bottom in March. And then they've been rebounded off of there. So, you know, the, the stock has gone up, but again, it's trading about 14 times earnings, so it's not altogether expensive. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Tracy writes about other value stocks as well, more than we have time to discuss in these short segments. But if you want to read about them, go to Zacks.com's homepage and check over in the upper right-hand corner of that homepage. Click on the headline that's next to the value investing category, and it'll take you to her most current story and an archive of some others as well. With Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.